On June 2nd of 1947, a civilian pilot flying over Rehoboth, Delaware, reported seeing a mayonnaise jar-shaped object heading north. The observer was a civilian pilot with 30 years of experience, reported the object flying at 1,000 to 1,200 miles an hour, and had seen objects like this before. The investigators determined that it was entirely possible the objects he observed were bumblebees, or ramjet missiles, as fired from Fort Miles by the Applied Physics Laboratory of Johns Hopkins University. Since the hour of observation of the various sightings could not be determined, positive identification could not have been made. However, the investigators recommended consulting the above-mentioned laboratory, perhaps to find some more answers. The Applied Physics Lab of Johns Hopkins University was a government-funded research facility that functioned primarily from the early 1940s to the late 1970s. The lab was launched by a group of scientists and engineers out of a used car garage known as the Wolf Building located in Silver Spring, Maryland. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the United States Navy began funding the APL to develop defenses that would serve as effective countermeasures against another surprise aerial attack. The Fritz X was the first precision guided weapon deployed in combat in the world. It was developed by Nazi Germany in 1943 and proved detrimental to the United States Navy. These are known as standoff weapons, anti-shipping weapons that allow aircraft to stay outside of the firing range of standard naval guns while maintaining a safe and spacious distance from the target. A guided missile would be dropped into the sea from an attacking aircraft at a great distance. The bomb can be seen falling from a plane and hitting its target. In 1944, the United States government proposed a design for a new supersonic rocket-launched, ramjet-propelled, radar-guided missile. On December of that year, the Applied Physics Laboratory entered a contract with the United States Navy to develop this technology. The program was given the code name Bumblebee. The creed of the project was that the Bumblebee cannot fly. According to recognized aerotechnical tests, the Bumblebee cannot fly because of the shape and the weight of its body in relation to the total wing area. But the bumblebee doesn't know this, so he goes ahead and flies anyway. APL had tested their experimental aircraft at various naval facilities from 1945 to March of 1947 before deciding on Top Sail Island, North Carolina as a permanent testing location. However, before this decision was made, some experimental testing had taken place at Fort Miles in Delaware. The bombing of Pearl Harbor had also incentivized the U.S. Navy to rapidly build up their domestic shoreline defenses and, despite Fort Miles never seeing any major combat during World War II, it was largely active and maintained until 1948. While researching Operation Bumblebee in Fort Miles, I found a blog with an interesting story that closely relates to the one being told here. The blogger writes, one interesting footnote to Bumblebee's time at Fort Miles comes to us from Horace Wenyon. Mr. Wenyon was a civilian pilot who flew around the Cape region. One September day in 1946, Mr. Wenyon was flying out in his plane over the ocean near Rehoboth Beach when he spotted an object he couldn't quite make out streaking into the sky, moving fast and trailing flame. A month later, the same thing happened. On June 2, 1947, he saw it again. Mr. Wenyon reported each sighting to the FBI. Eventually, his reports made their way to the Air Force, which was studying possible extraterrestrial sightings under the code name Project Blue Book. Mr. Wenyon never claimed he had spotted an extraterrestrial craft, just something he could not identify. He suggested a rocket, which is the same conclusion the Blue Book investigators came to. 
The three objects Mr. Wenyan saw were officially declared to have been Bumblebee rockets test-fired from Fort Miles. The only problem is, Bumblebee testing at Fort Miles had ended three months before the last sighting was reported. So, did Mr. Wenyan get the date wrong, or did he see something unexplained? Hopefully, further research can solve this mystery. By all accounts, Bumblebee rocket testing ended in March of 1947, but Wenyan had reported seeing unknown objects as late as June 2nd, 1947. Perhaps Mr. Wenyan saw a different kind of experimental aircraft being tested at Fort Miles. However, I could not find any test flights to have reportedly taken place on that date. Either way, Evidence doesn't really support the investigator's theory, and we may never know what Mr. Wenyan saw.